Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing some of the top data broker remover tools and helping you decide which one you should choose. Now, I've tested out multiple of these over the years, and I was actually one of the first people to really start kind of checking out these services because I have had issues, um, ironically, in the privacy community with people trying to uh, get back at me for reviewing their VPN that they like a lot too harshly. So yeah, if you're worried about getting doxxed, if you're worried about having your privacy kind of revealed on the internet, these tools are for you. Basically what they will do is scan various websites like white pages and other websites that host your IRL information and these services will do it uh, basically do the work for you and remove all your private information from these websites without you needing to email like 200 of these websites. So what uh, options are there are out there when it comes to these tools? We're gonna be discussing that in this video. Now guys, if you like this objective comparison between the various data broker removal tools, go ahead and check out the links in the description down below. I'm gonna be putting links for all these data broker removal tools. I am an affiliate for some of them. So if you click on those links, you should be able to get the deals and pricing seen in this video. You'll help support the channel. It's a win-win as well for both of us. So let's go ahead and get into the comparison right now. Now guys, a sponsor for this video is TorGuard VPN. It's an excellent VPN provider. It's ranked king on my tier list as the number one VPN for the longest time. So guys, if you're interested in checking out a very, very affordable VPN, go ahead and check out TorGuard.net. If you use promo code TomSpark2023, you can get 50% off pretty much every package on the website. You can get a VPN as cheap as $5 a month for a one month subscription, $30 a year, or even $70, I think, for around three years. This is an unbelievably cheap VPN provider, but now let's get back to the actual video. All right, guys, so a couple options out there that I've been discussing and looking at is something called Incogni. Delete Me is another popular option. And now we have Mozilla offering Mozilla Monitor, but they are actually using one rep to kind of do that. Mozilla really likes to white label other products and not really do any work and figure out a way to kind of monetize their um, browser and services without actually putting much work into it. But I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, why do the work when you could just white label some other company and focus on your browser, theoretically? Um, but which one of these services is the best one to use? Well, at the end of the day, I'm not really gonna bullshit you. All these services pretty much do the same thing. Either they will kind of find a way to email these websites or get a way to contact these websites to remove information. It'll take a couple days and then the website will be forced to remove information since they're not allowed to keep information on you if you do request it to be removed. So all these people kind of act like a middleman. They all roughly kind of cover the same websites. It's around 150 to 200. There really are only maybe around like 50 to 100 big websites out there. I would say that people will actually be able to find and a lot of other smaller ones. You're not really going to even see that much in Google search results. But if someone's really dedicated, theoretically, they might be able to find that information on you on one of these websites. So that out of the way, pretty much all the websites kind of cover the same kind of uh, coverage, I would say, um, testing them out. They kind of have variation in how many they will advertise. Something like one reps is 200, which is the same as Mozilla Monitor. Something like Delete Me um says they cover well it doesn't say they cover on this page but uh, maybe somewhere around here uh not really i'm sure it's somewhere on this website um but th this is kind of my point um uh, there's kind of variation in how much they actually remove um but like i said they all kind of go after the same websites but it, it can be even hard to find exactly a full list of all the websites i think i did find um, one at one point uh, with delete me when I was really kind of looking into the differences um, But yeah, even here it doesn't really say a full list of how many so that's definitely kind of making my point now Incogni does it list either well Not really so I do kind of like one rep the fact that it does kind of list them out um, But like I said at the end of the day they will all kind of remove a roughly equivalent amount of information about you. So what is the thing you need to really consider then? Is it really a service that you're going to be considering the GUI? I've had people talk to me saying, hey, you didn't really show how these services work. Well, it's because you just 
pay them you give them information and then they remove the information about you it's not some video game it's not some vpn provider where you download an application and you can see it happening in real time it's mostly doing it on the back end of them and if there is a gui all you're going to be able to see is a list of websites that have removed the information i'm going to log into my incognito account to just to give you an example of what it could look like but there really isn't that much interaction when using a service like this. It's really kind of you're paying them to do the work for you and you just see kind of a list of stuff going on behind the scenes, perhaps at best. So this is what it looks like with Incogni. You can see different removal requests being processed, which is nice. And I actually do like Incogni's layout. It's very minimalist and not very confusing at all. It really just kind of presents things very well. And it gives you information about every specific website that's going on. This is my test account showing you guys how it would look behind the scenes. But like I said, it's not necessarily something you're going to be interacting with that much. And you're just going to have to kind of trust that they're doing it and you'll get updates once a month or so, especially with the Cogni and multi Z services will do the same thing. So what is the number one differentiating factor when choosing between these services? They all kind of do the same thing. They all kind of go after the same websites and they kind of work the same too. Well, you guessed it. It's price. If all these services kind of do the same thing, then what can you really differentiate them by? Well, it's the price. So Incogni is around $78, and then a year after year per that, it's around $78. It's around $13 a month if you choose month by month. Um, now we have something like Delete Me, which only lets you subscribe for one year at a time, which was $130. This is actually one of the first ones that came out, but it's also one of the most expensive, and it doesn't allow you much flexibility with the plans. Additionally, one year for two people is $230 yikes so that's definitely kind of disappointing one thing about incognito it doesn't offer family plan which could be a little bit annoying but even then uh 77 times two is around 144 dollars it's still much cheaper than delete me's family plans and stuff like that so i guess there's not much point in having a family plan if you could just buy multiple subscriptions it's already cheaper right and now we have something like uh one rep um it's gonna be uh it doesn't really specify the yearly price, but if you do the math, $8.33 times 12 is roughly going to be uh, $99.96. So it's also more expensive than Incogni by a fair amount, around 20 bucks. And if you do get one rep's family plan or you go with Mozilla Monitor, which is pretty much the same pricing, it's going to be um, $15 times two. So, uh, this is the family plan i would say does kind of have some interest here i would say uh with one rep um okay so one rep does have an option to toggle monthly or not it is going to be more expensive than that it's going to be around 20 dollars per month for six people now annually i would say that uh this plan is not bad uh for what it offers uh, i do think this is a pretty good deal um but i would say most people aren't really going to be needing six people covered um, I guess if you want to cover your whole entire family and pay more, uh, this is going to be, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really say actually bulk. So I'm not quite clear here. Um, cancel trial. Um, if we click here, so it's going to be $180 a year. That's still pretty expensive, but for six people, not bad. It's going to be cheaper than those services. But at the end of the day, if it's just you, maybe one or two other people, Incogni is the clear winner in terms of affordability. And that's the one I myself personally use. So if you guys are checking for the cheapest one that pretty much does what you want, I would go for Incogni. Now, if you like this objective kind of comparison between price and kind of various data broker removal tools, go ahead and use my Incogni link in the description down below that helps support the channel. This video was not sponsored by Incogni, however, so thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you again very soon.